everybody, welcome back to another episode of Deck Collection 101 on Our Bite You. This is our first on location at Actual Collection. I one. live for this. All right, so <laughs> yeah, we're joined by Mark Gracie and Dan Menteki with ROCA. 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 Yeah, so, so mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming on, guys. everybody. Thanks for having us. So Thanks I guess, yeah, no, yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, let's start with tell the folks at home about yourself. Um, so for me, uh, I've been in collections long as I can remember. I actually started in sales years ago and uh, I had friends who were in collections who were making a lot of money and uh, I'm looking at what I'm doing and how much I'm working and I'm like this is yeah. oh my goodness. I, so I jumped in. I started, uh, I started working goodness credit card debt 15, 16 years ago and uh, I've been doing collections ever since and for me Collections and sales are they're hand in hand. Yeah. It's yeah. the same thing. We always say at the office too. I mean, yeah. it's the exact same thing. The product changes. When that's the, it. Yeah. When the sales that's exactly right. it. You guys actually might have a harder sales pitch than us. That would be the only thing. It's probably yeah. harder to sell what you sell than what you sell. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. in collections, you, you're selling the fact that they got to pay their debt now, and chances are, no matter what it is, they've spent that money, they've purchased the items. Yeah. So now you're telling them, hey, so that you know the. That item that you bought uh, six months ago, well, you got to pay for it now. Yeah. <laughs> who wants, yeah. Who wants, who wants to, to pay for stuff they buy? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, so we opened. Uh, we opened about six years ago, and small office, myself and four other people, and we've grown now to total in the company. Uh, you know, depending on time, depending on month, uh, we're fifty to seventy people. No way. Um, so yeah, it's been uh, it's been great. And I, the thing is, is we were just talking a little bit off camera. I, I love the collections industry. Like yeah. it's something I'm very passionate about, and I think, you know, I think it gets a bad rap. But we really hear the, the people, and I know it's something that we're going to talk about. The people that are here matter to me. Like I, I love this job and like my end of it now because I can see how much collection collections can do for others. Mm -hmm. How it can really kind of change their lives. So. Yeah, and you know, for people who haven't seen it, the reason this all happened was because your social media profile, right? Like we saw the stuff you guys are posting on Facebook, and yeah. it it's incredible, right? Like you thank guys you, have such you. yeah, no problem. You. you guys have such an amazing culture. You do some cool stuff. Those videos are great. People seem to love working here. So I guess can you guys describe your culture? How you go about creating that culture? I guess. Well, it's fun making money. So it's hard, <laughs> you, you know. If you're making money, it's fun. We don't come here and just mess around all day. I know sometimes what it can kind of look like on the polls, <laughs> yeah. but, but no, it, when you're making money, it's, it's a good time to, you know, hustle, Yeah. hustling out there, making as much money as possible. So, okay. yeah. It, you know what, it's funny, because that's kind of where my ideas originally came from, it, is watching Gary Vee. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. We're big um, Gary Vee fans, too. Love, yeah. love yeah. him. And it, the thing is, <laughs> yeah. hey, Gary. Yeah. Um, so for us, the culture really comes from the people that were already here. Culture to me, listen, this is a tough job. You're talking to people who don't want to talk to you. You get hung up on, people swear at you. So I want to make sure, what's really important to me is that people enjoy coming to work. Mm -hmm. um, and they do that not only by the business you have and where you are and all of that stuff, but listen, the people that, that are working here already, the people around them, matter. I mean, you guys, you, you see it every single day. Yeah. So the people within an office matter to me as much as anything that they all fit, that they all, you know, I'm not talking about holding hands and singing songs or anything <laughs> like that, but that we they do get that along. Too. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever it takes. <laughs> but, so the, the, the culture here is, I think that's the baseline of everything because we want to we want to create a culture of winning to kind of take it from sports. Yeah. And people want to join places that are winning because we win and, as a team right everyone's got each other's back you know and no one lets anyone else fail so everybody uses it i try in my post i try to limit that part of it but I, everybody talks about family and it's a family atmosphere and all that stuff but it really is here and that's so important to me because they not only work as individuals because bonus checks are individual things but they work as a team and help each other with their bonus checks so when new people come in the door, they see not only that people are here to help them, they can see people, you know, that people are hustling, that, that people are here for their money. And that, again, so many people get burned out in collections, but they can see that, that it's different here. 
that you know you can enjoy your job again. It's okay to enjoy collections. Yeah, yeah. So that that's the part that's most important to me. Yeah, over everything. that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you can feel that. Walk, like we've been to a lot of agencies, obviously selling directly to collection agencies for so long, and you can just feel walking into into this agency. It's like. It's, it doesn't feel stale, it feels fresh, it's fun, it's like... Yeah, yeah. it's energetic, it's like a sales floor, right? You guys yeah. are jacked up yeah. all the time, it's we, awesome. We keep the energy as high as possible. Yeah. Some people and can't handle it, literally, do. people can't yeah, handle it. It's not it. easy to do. It, when, you know, it's funny, is every time you say that and then you mix sales with it, I think of mm -hmm. like Boiler Room, Wolf of Wall yeah. Street. Yeah. And to me, again, my, my, my background was sales. Mm -hmm. Collections is sales. Yeah. And that's the type of atmosphere that I want. Again, it goes back to I want people to have fun. I want people to enjoy coming to work. Uh, I mean, when I say fun, it isn't just goofing off all day. Making right. money is fun. Enjoying what you do is fun. Helping others is fun. And, and that's, that's the atmosphere. That's the culture. That's everything. That, that's the foundation of everything we do. The people that are out on that floor, are they're the baseline of every piece of this business that transfers into your business. Yeah, that's true. That's, true. that's all. Um, so every time we talk to any agency owner, they all say the same thing. The hardest problem they have is hiring employees and retaining mm -hmm. those employees, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And you guys, you watch your video as a recruitment tool, and um, I mean, you, you, you can feel all those things you talked about with culture coming through, right? So yep. you guys clearly use Facebook as a way of recruiting employees, right? Oh, yeah. So yep. how did you come up with that concept? Actually, the owner... Yeah, Chris. No, Chris pointed us in that direction. Right. Helped us, you know, start with the memes. He showed us some examples. He's like, "Why aren't you guys doing this?" Yeah, showed us some, and then after that, I'll just kind of click and started rolling. Right. So we started putting out memes, you know, two, three, four times a week sometimes. Then we started doing the videos more recently, like the commercial style videos. Yeah, I saw the one um, today. Yep, yep, okay. the money. So you know, we try to think of you know just any different idea we can and try and apply it to what we do. You know. Um, just a recru uh, recruiting post with a block of text doesn't get anyone's attention anymore. Yeah, you know? yeah. No, it's the same, the same thing. Video, people watch yep. videos. And exactly. for us, everybody says the same things. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not, I'm not putting anybody down or anything like that, but they all say the same exact things. And you know what? Everybody can, anybody can put whatever they want in a post yeah. and, and say we're the greatest place ever and family matters and all that stuff. I just want people to come here and see it yeah. and feel it because I can tell you anything over a post, and you're just taking my word for it as somebody you've probably never met. Yeah. However, if you can come here and you can hear it from other people, you can see it for yourself, it changes everything. So for me, it's it's about getting people in the door so that I can show them. It's, it's just like anything else. If you're making a sales call, it's one thing to say, hey, Mark, listen, here's what I can do. This is what our, our, our software can do for you. Mm -hmm. It's a completely different story to say, yeah. Hey Mark, watch what this will do. That's right. and we always say that too. We always say, don't take my word for it. We want you to try it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. It's, it, you can tell anyone anything, but they got to see it for themselves. Yes. You know what I mean? And That's just as you guys said, the energy in here is palpable. Yeah. You know, it's, it's dude. Yeah, we're jacked up. Walking <laughs> in the door. And you're um, not going to transfer that over a post. So the no, videos, no, I mean, no, you, no. That's the only way you can do it. No, and again, it's a I want to. I said to you guys off camera. I, I want to make collections fun again. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to. Uh, Everybody looks at con collections kind of with, with a, a, a negative vibe, and I really kind of want to change that because collections doesn't have to be what it's always been. Yeah. Collections can be professional and fun. It can have a good atmosphere. You can work with good people. And that, again, that's what I want to come through with our posts because those are the type of people that, that we want to attract. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we talked about the ideas really not only came from the owner, but they came from watching Gary V and other people on social media, stuff mm -hmm. that I'm looking at going, this is awesome. Yeah, right. And that's what I use social media for now. Yeah. You know, whether it's Twitter or Facebook, I'm trying to get content that's bettering myself. Yeah. So that's the stuff that, I, again, I told you guys, I watch your videos because I really enjoy it. Shut I, up. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, for me, doing what you guys are doing, the, the, the DC 101s and all that stuff, I watch it because it's great that somebody's putting out content where other people can watch it and say, you know what? All right, maybe I looked at collections the wrong way. Yeah, so right. I, I love it. I yeah. think you guys do a great job. So, and that's thank you. Thanks. First off, yeah. um, so the overall theme of kind of these have kind of become like the best agencies have great cultures, right? Like that's kind yeah, that's, of become yeah. the overarching theme of these episodes. And I mean, clearly you guys have an amazing culture. We can't talk about that enough. Thank you. How well do you think that relates to retaining employees? Oh, it's imperative. Oh yeah. my goodness. I mean, it, when you get 
good people, you want to be able to keep them. Yeah. And you do that when they're making money, when they're happy, when they're treated properly. Um, if you're a great collector, you can work anywhere. Yeah, uh, it's like know. sales. It yeah. absolutely yeah. is. If you're a great salesman, you can get a job you anywhere. anywhere. Yeah. And if you can sell one product, you can sell any product. So with us, if you can collect on debt and you're good at it, you can collect on anything. So we want to be able to find and keep good people. You do that based on their experience on the floor. Uh, obviously, they have to be making money, but they have to enjoy coming to work every day. They don't want to be beat up. Yeah. You know, they don't want to be busting their butt while the person next to them is just slacking off all day. Yeah. And so, you know, we've tried very hard to create a culture uh, where people work hard and they work for each other. Yeah. Um, and and that, uh, that's a big piece of the foundation on keeping people here is that not only they can see that they can make money now, but they can make money in the long run. Yeah, I mean, so, the, the other thing that goes with that too is, you know, anyone that works hard here, Mark and I and the other manager here, Brandon, we work hard for them. So if it's someone putting in work, we're not just going to let them fail. We're going to do everything we can to make sure that they're successful here. We're not. It, there's no reason to let someone like that go or just fall through the cracks. If they're committed, we're committed. Yeah. The, uh, the success, I'll just end it on this part, the success of the people out there is what drives me every somebody being able to buy a new house or buy a car or make more money than they ever thought they'd be able to make mm -hmm. that's the stuff man that that is that is what drives me every single day that the satisfaction that that brings me is it, it, i really can't even put it to words that's awesome so I mean, you can feel it in the whole environment. It's, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, everyone's drinking the Kool-Aid here. You can, they're, <laughs> they're swimming in the Kool-Aid. <laughs> but yeah, as, uh, what do you, you got other questions? No. All right. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, I mean, so the biggest thing that I, like one of the coolest things that I took that I didn't really realize was going to come out of this was the whole, like, you're not happy with how people view collections. No. And I think yeah. that's great. Like, I say it all the time. And, and it's because what you as you said, one person can't change the whole thing, but you know you are starting to because other people that I've talked to and have seen your videos, they're inspired by it and they're going to start to. So that, yeah, we literally had a customer tell us they saw your video and they want to start doing yeah. it. So. That, so like I said, that means a lot for me. I love collections and the negative connotation that comes with it to me is I think based on old thinking. Yeah. And there are so many good people. There are so many good agencies. It, it's not just here. There's so many good agencies out there. There's so many good people. I want I want people to see that. I want people to really change the way they view collections in general. Um, it, that to me, as far as like the videos and all that, that's really a major, major driving force. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, I love that was awesome, guys. Seriously, yeah. thank you so much thank for doing you. this. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. And as always, see you next see week. See you next week. See you guys. See ya.